Hello again guys, we are back again, and the time that I was away, there was a lot of stuff that went on. Obviously we moved to a new house, I'm in a new setup. I actually started a new job, but I'm not going to be talking about any of that here, maybe on the second channel. But being away for that amount of time means that we have actually not just one, but uh, two of the collector's cases that have shown up that I have yet to open. But before we get too far into that, this is looking really, really bare, so I've got to do something. There we go. It's not perfect, but at least it's it's a little bit better, a little bit different. And with this little remote, I can actually change the lights if I hit it enough times. There's an overhead light that changes too. Let's just keep hitting it. It cycles through. Might put up a little bit of artwork, might change some furniture around. There's a lot of echo still in this room, so there's stuff to do. But I think we'll leave it on this for now. And just to keep this kind of short, sweet, and to the point, let's take a look at the first box. Over the course of the last couple of months, I kind of lost track of what these boxes were gonna contain, but that's okay. So right near the top, I do see the little manila envelope. I'm not going to open it and dive through it or anything yet. It does, however, say on the back with the April case, the other case I've got is going to be, so it's going to be Adam Fergus. I should probably know who that is, but I don't off the top of my head. But let's start going through this box. So first off, I see a beanie. Probably would have been a little more appropriate a month ago. Now we've actually entered into some proper decent weather. It's like 80 degrees outside right now, but I will definitely hang on to this. Maybe give it to the oldest kiddo. I'm sure he will probably appreciate it. Very cool though. Very nice. We've got a DC Comics Bombshells. One Wonder Woman black and white sketch edition vinyl figure. That'll be a very nice addition to the shelves. Speaking of which, the shelves are actually in the, the closet the next room over, so I might have to move things around and get proper shelves in here with display items on them. I don't know. I'm not sure what this thing is. It looks to be a holder of something that isn't actually holding anything. Oh, I'm guessing, <laughs> I'm guessing that this was supposed to be inside of there. So we got a fidget spinner. There, that's cool. It's a red plastic fidget spinner, Batman themed. The nine-year-old will definitely appreciate that. We've got some hub snaps, two hub snaps, collector's card, flick'em, flick'em, stick'em. I have no idea what this is, but it looks to be Batman versus Superman themed. And there is a Batman versus Superman style card in there. And then two of the collectible hub snaps. I guess click'em and flick'em and I don't know. I have no idea what the significance of these are, sorry. Next up though, DC Comics Bombshells Pennant. Collect all four felt pennants, and this one specifically looks like it's Harley Quinn, so this is a thing we can hang on the wall. Will I hang it on the wall? I don't really know. It's very cool, and this will give you a little look at what could have come, what it's gonna look like and everything, so that's pretty cool. And the last thing I see in the box, very, very neat. Daredevil number one, Timely Comics. And this is actually a very thick comic book. I have not gotten a new comic book in several months, so definitely looking forward to checking that out. But onward to the next box. For the sake of time, we gotta make it kinda quick. All right, we start this box off with Big League Minis, collectible vinyl figures, presumably from baseball teams. And I haven't watched baseball in years and years. San Francisco Giants. This is Pablo Sandoval. And this one says McCutcheon, Andrew McCutcheon. Very neat looking little vinyl figures. There's a couple of wacky packages. Looks like Topps cards. It says 10 sticker cards, actually. And rather than diving into these, I will probably give these to my nine-year-old and see what he wants to do with them. If it's stickers, if it's cards, anything like that, that's definitely right up his alley. I see a supernatural join the hunt Save Your Souls card game, ages 13 plus and two to 10 players. The D&D group, the Pathfinder group that I play with, we've actually been playing a lot of board games the last few times we've gotten together. So since this will do two to 10 players, maybe this will be on our board games to play list. Let's just see what it looks like. You open it up, you've got a bunch of pieces there, a bunch of cards, I see binding spells, I see characters. So actually not a whole lot in the box, but I don't have time to read through this at the moment. This will definitely be going on the board game shelf and will go with me the next time we play board games. I see a Looney Tunes pop vinyl figure. Oh, that's really cool. Gossamer vinyl figure. It's a specialty series. If you haven't seen it, this is from the old Bugs Bunny cartoon. The one, oh, I can't even remember what the name of it was, but he ends up shaving him at some point. It's a very funny cartoon and not realistically the best likeness of him, but it's still a very cool pop vinyl. I see a Punisher item. It says previews exclusive. Exclusive Marvel Molded Mug Collection. I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Okay, yeah, in the move, we ended up getting rid of a lot of mugs, just older mugs that we weren't using or that we didn't like, sold them at yard sales, gave them away to friends and family. This is definitely gonna have to go in the mug collection. That is awesome. Maybe I'll even take that to work with me. New job, I don't have a coffee mug for there. Maybe that'll work. That's awesome. And at the bottom of the box, I see a t-shirt. I see an actual t-shirt. And this appears to be navy blue, which is cool, but you get to see what it is first. So there you go. Now I get to see it. Oh, that's cool. Kansas KAZ2Y5 
if I remember correctly, that is the license plate for the car that I can't remember the name of from Supernatural. I watched a bunch of seasons of that, but it's been like five plus years ago since I watched it last. Used to love that show. I'm gonna have to get back into it and learn about the card game and everything. But definitely another fun shirt to add to my collection. And actually, very bottom of the box, this hasn't happened in a while. I got one of the signed 8x10s. Fortunately, yes, kind of unfortunately, because I will say it's somebody that I am not familiar with. It says on the back here, this collector's case certifies the 8x10 photograph of Mick Davies was autographed by Adam Fergus on September 24th, 2017 at the Edmonton Expo. Photograph of Mick Davies signed by Adam Fergus. Maybe it's a photo of Adam Fergus signed by Adam Fergus. Wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for it to be a photo of somebody... I don't know. Oh, now that's a little bit off. Looking through this little binder they include with it at the end, this little manila folder. Apparently the Funko Minis that were supposed to be included were from Supernatural, and I did not get those. I got baseball players. It felt really out of place for the theme of the boxes, but what can you do? One way or the other, though, it was a very cool couple of boxes, so thanks to the Collector's Case for sending these out to me. Thanks to you guys for watching. If you like the Collector's Case, if you want to sign up for one of your very own, head on over to their website. I'll have a link to it down in the description. I think it's an affiliate link. I don't I don't know if that gets you a discount or if that gets me something for you signing I don't really know. Other than these cases, I've, I don't think I've ever really gotten anything from them, so do with that what you will. The cases are always really interesting. Would I pay for it myself out of pocket if I had to? I, I don't think that I would, but if you see things in these cases that you like, I think you can get older cases. You can get previous models, as it were. And there are always some fun things in it that the kids do enjoy, like the fidget spinner and nice t-shirts and the, the beanie that was in there earlier. So all in all, it's a little bit of fun for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. Again, if you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel to get notified when new videos come out. I'm working on a bunch of different videos. I got a lot of stuff in the works when I have time to make videos. Since I've started a new job, I'm away from the house the entirety of the day, the entirety of the week, and it's a lot of driving, so it does make time a lot more strained, but we're making it work. So thank you for sticking around. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for helping us get so close to 100,000 subscribers. It's looking like hopefully in the next couple of weeks we will be hitting 100,000 subscribers on this channel. Let me know if there's anything special or fun that we ought to do. I was thinking of doing a giveaway, maybe giving away a phone or something. Let me know what you think about that. Let me know if there's any phone particular you'd like to see me give away that's not going to break the bank so I'm not going to do like an iPhone 10 but we'll see what we can come up with. But again thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.